Where is the money? I said, where is the money? Where is the money? Which money? Down! Get down! Where is the money? What, what, what money are you talking Where is the money? What, what? Ow! Where is the money? What, 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 what money? Ah. Answer, I, I, answer, I, mama. I, what is she talking about? Papa, I, I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what... Answer them! <laughs> Did you steal from them? Did you? Mama? What if I did? What if I stole from them? Do you really care? Mother, you. When you were asking me to go and buy my own cooking utensils to cook my own food, were you not indirectly asking me to go and steal? Were you not? I have come the streets of Lagos looking for jobs for close to how many years? But I've been successful. Everybody is back. <sighs> Looks like things have gone from bad to worse. Look at him. If he asks of people that stay in Lagos, he will be the first to jump to his feet. Look at him. I got him on my foot.
Mm. Uh, Ogochi, where is my food? There is no food for a lazy man. Mama, that I've not been able to secure a job does not make me a lazy man. Please. Mm. How does that make you feel? Proud? Mm. You know, Mama, Things will not always be like this. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. To whom much is given, much is expected. If your certificate does not give you a job, then go out there and do what all your mates are doing to earn money. Look at Uche, Mazu Dokufo. He's a school dropout. But go and see the intimidating mansion he is erecting in his father's compound. Mama, 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 please, please, mama, please, do not compare me to Uche. Please, mama. For God's sake, mama, Uche was expelled from school because he was caught stealing. And do not forget, a leopard does not change its spots. Is not a criminal in this country. So tell me who is not? Who doesn't have a hand in Wuruwuru or Magomago? Akanazo in this country. Eh? Is it the teachers who are no longer dedicated to their duties? Or is it the students who are taken to cheating? Which hungry teachers are now a part of? Directly or indirectly? Eh? Because of what? Money. Eh? Ha! The politicians, they come out here and they speak their big grammar. Just sort of to, to get us to, to cast our votes in their favor. But when they get up there, what do they do? They pop their champagne. They pop their champagne and laugh at us. Eh? And you're here talk, 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 talking rubbish. Eh? Let me tell you. Everybody, everybody is a criminal. Nobody is an exception. Listen, we spent, we spent a lot of money seeing you through school. So this is the time to en for us to enjoy the fruit of our level. Is it wrong? Oh, you're looking at this chicken. <laughs> you will never eat it. You won't eat it. Look at you. Come on, 100 naira bread. You could not get for, for the people you left back home. And you expect me to jump into your arms in excitement with a pot of soup. Italia. What's it, Italia? Maduka. Maduka. Mazu Udebunam says so. Went to Lagos only yesterday and bought a big car for his mother. Where is my own car? Where is my own car? And you're here talking rubbish. Is it not the same logos? Well, since you have decided to become unreasonable, hmm, you better start buying your own cooking utensils because I will not waste my food on you any longer. I thank you, Mama. I thank you. Hey, thank you for listening. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Yes. He said he doesn't have money for, for, for his children's school fees. But he always comes home drunk. Stupid good for nothing. 
I want revenge on him, why? Hey, uh, come on, come on, urinate him to my food. Okay, I'm nine now, I'm gonna get to the restaurant. Look at that guy, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the restaurant. I'm going to go to the restaurant. But now, what do you want from a beggar? Get it fin, I'm gonna go to the restaurant. This was the same waist that I used to walk on her. And she would shout, Wah! You are a very strong man, you know how to do it. Yeah. Eh? But, but no yeah. more. Eh? Well, why is she a foolish man now? Eh? Until I find out who plays the music which she now dances since I lost my job. It is now to your tenth school, Israel. What he's talking about. He is drunk. That is what you say. He is drunk. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The vulture, they say, is a patient pet. Time will tell. Listen, Owako. If if this is a stunt for you to evade your 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 duties, let me listen. Let me tell you now. Let me tell you here and now that it will not work. Listen, you had these children out of your own free will. So, it is your responsibility to take care of them. Mom, mm -hmm. ha! Which children? Everybody tell you cannot run away from your responsibility. You brought these children out of your free will. Which children? You the children who mum kunno, eh? Out of your own free will. We will see. Time will tell. As if when I was going to her garden of Eden, I would not fight battle. <laughs> she would just fight me and use her finger to draw mark on my face. I know from where I am now. Your father, did you all run away? Eh? Papa, you are bad. Uziko, no, Papa, Uziko. Overseas. That is so far My girl, get up, right? What is up? 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 What are you proud of even? Is it that half an inch? Is it, let us talk and yes, you want us to expose everything, let us expose it. Is it that half inch you're proud of? <laughs>
amount of money was stolen from my workplace. And on the night in question, I was in this house sleeping. Your siblings and your mother told the police this. Yet, at the full glare of the entire village, I was arrested and taken away to the police headquarters on handcuff, like a hardened criminal for an offense I knew nothing about. By the time I was released from police custody, another person had already taken my position in the office. And all the management could tell me was that they were going to get back at me as soon as possible. But up to today, I have never heard from them. Right now, I sit back at home and take out my frustration on alcohol. Yes! Who wouldn't? Let me ask you. If this job you applied for in Edwin's office doesn't pull through, what are you going to do? Papa, I have Edwin's assurance it would. Um, but if, on the contrary, it doesn't pull through, I guess I have no other choice but to like try my hands on other fields, like uh, learn a craft or uh, a handwork. Yeah, uh -huh. uh, talking about handwork, I hear Mazi Ude's son is a motor mechanic. Yes. And a visit to their compound tells you that that profession is lucrative, even though people neglect it. You're right. Mazi Ude is from your mother's kindred. Your mother can talk to him so that his son will teach you the trade. Hmm. Uh, Papa, I guess uh, I have no choice. Yes, I do that. Uh, the only thing that I will never do in this condition is to steal. I can do the job, but I doubt if my mother would want to have anything to do with it at all. Papa, do you know that I have not eaten anything since yesterday? Yes, she she asked me to go and buy my own cooking utensils and cook my own food. She did? Yes, Papa, she did. She says I'm a lazy man. Papa. Am I a lazy man? I want you to realize that what you are passing through now is one of the many pages in a great man's history. It's a very long time I ate anything in this house. What? I'm telling you. Papa, but... My mother was not always like this. Papa, what happened? <laughs> Just go and prepare something for us to eat before she comes back. You know, if she comes back now, she will not allow you to use her intensives. Okay, we'll discuss Papa. later. Thank you, Papa. Mm? Mm. Mm -hmm. Where these ones are coming from. Bunch of illegal creatures. Useless who, who, who could do. Useless girls from a useless. It's only their mother who knows where she brought them out from. These are not my children. Hey! I wish I had my snuff box here. 
to understand that not everyone is destined to make it in the city. There's really a whole lot of money to make here in the farm and he's got the skills. Mm, maybe he's still yet to understand where his destiny lies. Somebody had better advise him before they start making babies and lose some concentration. You know, I still can't figure out what an able-bodied girl in her right senses will find attractive in a ragamuffin who has been jobless for five years and it almost ran into eternity. You're still asking. A woman with itchy ways can shamelessly sleep with a dog. I thought as much. But what is it? Is it? No. I disagree with you. In my opinion, it is a curse. At least some diseases have cure. Some don't. Itchy ways is one of them. Chances of finding a cure is totally impossible when the virus runs in the family blood. As for me, when I marry, it will be a guy who lives big, mm -hmm. thinks big, mm -hmm. and is thinkingly rich. You're so right. <laughs> <laughs> At least you can say who got her pregnant. As for both of you, the rate you are going, you will end up giving birth to uncircumcised bastards. Illegal creatures. Of course, it is only your mother who can say where you both of you come from. Certainly not from me. Um, 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 um. 
thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know. You know, I was so worried about you. You left without any address or telephone. Somewhere I could reach you. My father almost nailed me to the cross. Yes, uh, my father told me you were with him. Yes, I was here. That was when my pregnancy was four months old. I'm so sorry. What for? You know, for causing you pains and not being there to soothe the pains or probably offer you my shoulders to cry on, you know. My father threw me out of the house. He wants me not to come back until after you've paid my dowry. He knows that you're back. Do you know, that is all I ever wanted. Pay your bright price. Take care of the marriage rights. You know it. But life has not been fair. Life has not been fair. The system, the system has refused to acknowledge my academic excellence simply because I do not have an Abraham for a father. You know, maybe sometimes I, 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 I just regret ever coming from this part of the world. No, it's the system. It's okay, baby. It's okay, don't worry. I'll go to my grandmother's place. <laughs> I'll stay there until you can find your feet again. Life. She, she's very fond of me and I know she'll take care of me. Life. Life. What is life if you cannot fend for your loved ones? What is it? I have... I have combed the street of Lagos for five years searching for a job and no success. The system! Let me tell you something, Chichi. I am fed up with life. Chichi, how are we going to cope? How are we going to cope? Baby, it's okay. It's okay. You and I have a great future together. Believe me. Great future? Yeah. When? Chichi, when? Chichi, when? Chichi, when? 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 <laughs> Chichi, when I'm six feet deep? Is that it? When? Everything will be fine. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> No one you know, but you can call me Papillon. I have a business proposal to offer your boss, and I'm certain he will gladly accept it.
He says he has a business proposal for you. That's okay. Say you have a business proposal, you are certain I will accept. Yes. Why are you so sure? My instinct. <laughs> you live around here? No. How did you find me? A goldfish has no hiding place. I deem you capable of handling this type of business. That I'm proposing. Let's hear the details. Arrested in Saudi Arabia for drug trafficking and must have been far dead by hanging by the time you're reading this letter. I have $2 million lodged in Allied Securities and Asset Management Limited here in Saudi Arabia for safekeeping. I made this money through drug deals and deposited it in a metallic trunk box with the security company as jewelry to avoid the prying eyes of the security company officials. Attached overleave are all required documents with which to claim the consignment. You will also find below the security company contact details and take heart. Your son, Samuel. These are photocopied documents. I have the originals. I received the letter yesterday. Um, I went to the security company's legal office to make some inquiries. In fact, I've been told the consignment has arrived today. Now, I was also told that the consignment has accumulated hemorrhage charges of thirty thousand dollars. I was also told that I need to pay another three thousand dollars for shipment and handling. I don't have that finance to clear these bills. So I've come to you to seek for your assistance. I can offer you thirty percent of this fund if only you help me retrieve the consignment from the security company. Well then, I'll accept your offer. Thank you. Thank you. You come to my office by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Let's discuss the details of this transaction. I'm sure you can find your way. Oh, I always find my way. I'll see you then. Follow him.
I had a terrible dream last night. Should anything happen to you, I may not be able to survive yet. Oh, listen, listen to me, listen to me. Look, it's just a dream, okay? It's just a dream. Nothing will happen to me. Yes, I know dreams sometimes are revelations of things about to happen sometimes. But the best we can do now is to like put your dreams into serious prayers and that's it. <laughs> Besides, I'm not going to Lagos to like apply for the job of a bus conductor. <laughs> that's not what I'm going for. If the job I, I'm applying uh, for in Edwin's uh, office does not work, I simply return home. It's just that I feel so scared inside. Don't worry, there's nothing to be scared of. I am an adult. I can take good care of myself. I'll go to Lagos and I'll come back. Come on, baby, listen. Cheer up, cheer up, okay? Don't let this dampen your mood. Now give me a smile on that beautiful face. Smile. That's my girl. Don't worry. Right. I'll go to Lagos and I'll come back and get a seat. I should have chopped your buck at the boss and from my garden, I'm not gonna be that. I should have used your own to block my own. I say, I should have chopped your buck at the boss and from my garden. job for you, David. I will pay you $100,000 for this job. Half now, half when the job is done. Are you in or out? So what do I need to do? Sit down. Someone that I have done a lot of favors for in the past has taken me for a fool. I want to use him to send a warning note to others like him who might want to walk in his footsteps in the future. I want everything that breathes in his house eliminated tonight. Do read the dailies tomorrow. My handiwork will be written in bold letters. That's exactly what I want to hear. Joe will get across to you. Okay. I'll take my leave. That is $50,000. Take it to David. Where's for us? I want you to hang around his neighborhood until the job is done. Kill him as soon as the job is done. Return my money in full. Hi Dave, what's up? Cool. Mumbo says I should give you this. Yeah. 
you please sign for me? Why? Let's just say it's a proof that the parcel did not go into wrong hands. Come on, Joe. Why the hell is Bullet paying me $100,000 to do this job? Whereas you, Jagel or Chuka, can do it without him losing a cent. Do you know? Maybe he has figured out that you are the best man for the game. Please save me. Look for a better song than that. Do you think I can take that for an answer? That is my opinion. When next you see him, you ask him. Thank you so much. See you somewhere in the capital. Joe, this money will be in my custody until after the weekend. Do not show your face around here. What are you insinuating? Do me a favor. Take my message to Jagel and Choka. Have a nice day. Sure. We are taking the next bus to the east this evening. Hmm? Just give me some time to think about this. The whole thing is so sudden. Let's go through this properly so we don't end up regretting in the end. There is nothing to regret, okay? Uncle Tony cannot afford our school fees anymore because of the flop he has in his business. What then is the essence of staying here when we don't go to school again? Huh? You want me to sit here and slave for him and his wife? Mm -mm. No way. I am sick and tired of it. How can the problem Uncle Tony has in his business ever affect our school fees? Whereas his own children are enrolled in private schools which are far expensive than the public school we attend. You see, my dear? That's an indirect way of telling us you've overstayed your welcome. Hmm? Uncle Tony's wife must be a partner to this development. You understand? So I personally choose to remain here than going to that village to make mockery of myself. Hmm. I still refuse to be discouraged. Good for you. For me, I'm not stepping out of this place. You don't have an option, Faith. Both of us are leaving this house today, together. Hmm? You said I have no option. Mm -hmm. You heard me. So, if I say I'm not going, what will you do? Drop me with a rope or something? My dear, listen. Let's leave here. We are no Hey, way. I'm not going to any village. Big sis, please, with due respect, leave me out of this. If you want to go to the village, fine for you. For me, I'm not going anywhere. You understand? You should let me make some decisions for myself. I'm no longer a kid. Please. Good evening, miss. Yeah, good evening, sir. How may I help you? Um, Mr. Madi said your back door is faulty, and he asked me to come and fix it. Yeah. I'm sure he told yeah, you. Yeah, sure. Come in. Come in. Go back to where you are coming from. My house is not a hotel where you sleep and wake up and go to wherever you choose. Go back to where you are coming from. Whatever I become to. 
today, I owe it to you and your husband. You have become what you have chosen to be, a prostitute. That is what you are. But you are not going to practice it in my house. Just go back to him and have fun. Go and have your fun. I, I hate you. <sighs> Nonsense. Your sight makes me sick. If I had my way, I would have bundled you into the evil forest where you belong and bury you alive. Go to hell. Just get out of my house. To hell. Yes, maybe you help me. I don't know what it looks like. Maybe you help me to ask your mother because she will be better. Hey, yes. Just leave my mother out of this. I won't. I won't leave your mother out of this. She was on top of it all. If she has given you a good training, you are good for nothing, sister. You wouldn't be this probably. Enough! To me. Enough! How could she? How could she have taken good care of you when all she knew was to go around town chasing men? Of course you took after her. Prostitution runs in your family blood. Stop it! My mother was never a prostitute and you know it. How could you say such a horrible thing about her? Of course she was a prostitute. No, she wasn't. She was a prostitute. How? Defend her. Daughters of a prostitute. But I still maintain that I will not tolerate you living in my house and prostituting. Period. I wish I had a gun. I would have killed your entire half family. You're better off dead. Thanks. Is that what you said? Hoga Carpenter, did you hear that? Yes. What you said to her is very, very wrong. Uncle Tony wouldn't have been happy if I had walked in there and met you talking to the wife like that. Mm. So I should have closed my mouth and watched her fill up with hers. Is that it? This is her house, Fate. We are not here of our own free will, so we shouldn't be treated and talked to like some kind of animal. It makes me angry. That's the more reason why we have to go back to our house. If you don't like the way we are treated or talked to here, let's go back to our father's house. Fixes. I'm not leaving this house without every cobble and property of our father in Uncle Tony's position. But we can't fight him with our bare hands. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. The life of this family is in danger. not continue to pretend that everything is all right while it's not now listen I, I, I want us to go as far as we can and as quickly as possible you haven't said anything yet dad what is the problem born adventure course Would you be talking about bullets? You know him? Of course everybody knows him. He owns the Pyramid Nightclub. Some say he uses it for gun running. Others say he owns an armed robbery gang. From a few who know him, Dad, he was gathered that he undertakes contract killing. And from what I've heard too, his name is synonymous with trouble. How did your paths cross? Oh God. It was on the evening of 15th May. An elderly man flagged my car down right in front of Bon Adventure Mansion. That was all the trouble started. The old man flagged me down and asked if I was going to New Market Road. And of course, I couldn't refuse a man old enough to be my father a lift since he was going my way. The old man told me that he has gone to Bon Adventure to ask him to retrieve from a self keeping facility the consignment that the son that traveled to Saudi Arabia sent to him. How was I to know that 
giving an old man a lift is trouble. How was I to know? Who is going to sign? I, I. Come this way. Thank you. I'll get your payment receipt in a GP. Thank you. What is this? The money was, was defaced for security reasons. The bottle you found in the bus contains sample of the solution with which to cleanse the money. It is called Formula B6. 1.5 liters of it is required to get all the money washed. Contact Steven on telephone number 070-34636567. For the chemical, chemical and follow the instructions below for direction. Yes, son, somewhere papi here. If I'm the devil himself. This box was supposed to be filled with dwellings, remember? So, what do you want? 
20%. Anything less than that makes me change my mind and you know the consequence. I don't like the sound of this, Mr. Moses. Maybe I should call in the management and let them know what we have in here. How about that? Let him have it. 20% of this money will not kill us. Hmm? I do not want the management to be involved in this. They will seize the money if they, if they get to know about it. Taking advantage of a situation is not my idea of being smart, Papillon. This is blackmail. So, what do we do? He holds the aces. Papillon here says you hold the aces. But guess what? I disagree. You know why? Hmm? You know why? Tell me. Because you are holding on to the crappy end of the stick. How do you mean? What that means, Mr. Moses, is that you will not get 20% of this money. And your management will not hear about it. And if they do? Jagger here. We'll have to kill you. Is that it, Red? It's a promise. Then I'm calling the cops. Oh. oh. Okay. So since we have all come to some kind of understanding, why don't you pick up your little phone and call Mr. Steven? Find out how much it costs to get 1.5 liters of, what you call it? B6. B6. Call Steven. Hello? Hello? Please, can I speak with Mr. Steve? Yes, my name is Mr. Moses. Yes, I'm calling from Allied Securities and Asset Management Limited. Yes. Please, I want to inquire how much Formula B6 is sold. 1.5 liters of it. Yes. Thank you, thank you, please. I'll get back to you. Thank you. So? The chemical is sold for $80,900. I see. thousand dollars. We get the balance tomorrow. So if everything goes according to plan, we shall gather and celebrate our success. Oh, God, right, no problem. Right. Now, don't you try to leave town without my permission. Now that the content of this box is out in the open. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not do anything like that. I know we have an understanding. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Jagger. Get the box. Oh, oh, oh. Jump in, jump in. for me, low. Jump in, jump in. So I feel low, in, jump in. So I feel low, in, jump in. Send it to your low. Jump in, jump in. Oh, 
finish for upcoming speed At last I'm the winner Giving the summit and no omit That's the game, Siri tip shows Making the scrum tears in the 19 world Score, crossbone, carving in a bank, kaboom In the water low, showing slip, shot and no flute Jumping there from the east to the west is a good From Buffy to Wafi mm, Life of the downtown, let them say What they want to say They put new laws and yet to break the rules We don't care a hoot about the EF, uh, uh And we don't care a hoot about the FB, uh, And we don't fucking give a fuck about the KG, uh We just take it from there, what they took from us Jumped it, jumped it Money is like blood If you want to leave, you need a lot of people Trouble, very, very big trouble. I know. One of the boys recognized him. Says he owns the pyramid nightclub. Oh. Yes. Uses it for gun running. <laughs> and runs a deadly armed robbery gang. Look, we've suddenly picked the crappy end of the stick. So, what do we do now? Let's leave now. Money is like blood. If you want to leave, you need a lot of it pumping through your face. Money is like blood. If you want to leave, you need a lot of it pumping through your face. Chop them, chop them. And so, Papion and his cohorts left the town. It was not difficult for Bonadventure to realize the following morning that he has been involved in a scam. That is not the end of the story. The butler of Bon Adventure had followed me the day I gave Papillon a lift. So they, they concluded that I must be part of the syndicate, Papillon syndicate. Now, Bon Adventure wants me to return $93,000, which he claimed to have lost to Papillon. He threatened to kill me. Trisha, that is the issue. Now listen, I want everybody to pick whatever that is important to you. We are leaving for Ghana tomorrow morning. Ghana come, Somalia, cheap criminal. If you think that I will believe one word that come out of that gutter you come out, then you have Shoka coming. I wonder why I married you in the first place. If not for the sake of my children, I would have divorced you long ago and got myself a gentleman. Trisha, you see, sometimes I, I, I feel like struggling you to death. Go ahead, what are you waiting for, you criminal? Your sins have caught up with you. Go ahead and help me. Oh. Please, throwing punches at this time is not necessary. It is inconsequential. How do we get out of this problem? How?
all my life. I have never defrauded anybody. Whatever I've achieved, whatever height I've attained, whatever I owe, I'm always contented. So why this trouble? Why? Why must I pay for a crime I never committed? Why should I suffer? Another man sees. Why? <laughs> and God is there. God is there watching and keeping quiet. <laughs> Every couple I own, I've given to one adventure. that my late brother left behind. I've given to one adventure. Every property that my late brother left behind, I have sold. And the process to one adventure I've given. I have practically sold everything. I have borrowed money from everyone I know. At the World Adventure, I've given all the proceeds every couple realized. So, where will it end? Where will this end? Maybe I'll just, I'll just end it up. I'll end it up. Just end it now, man, woman. Just hear yourself. I have practically sold everything that I own, borrowed from everybody that I know. So Bonaventure, I have given everything that I realized, every cover that I realized to Bonaventure. Clap for yourself. You coward, that is what you are. It is only in this house that you raise your voice very loud. Bonaventure this, Bonaventure that, Bonaventure up, Bonaventure down. Does Bonaventure have two heads? But I bet you'll be sad about can jog. Ask me! Okay, puta. Obulisi. You don't think you are. You check my way, you couldn't hear me. After you, you know. What the chap? Just get out there. Stand firm like a man. Fight for what you believe in. So that puta, I'm back in the key. Like I get it, y'all People rob. They steal. They sit on people's money. See, they walk freely without anybody harassing them. But here, Tony, Jim Mado one naira. Oh, Mado one naira. Oh, you Jim will be a quack and also. Tony said, I'm with a mother of my hair. Meanwhile, people owe him all. And their wives have not come to complain that Tony chased them out of their homes. How much do you owe him? That you have to sell all our properties. How much? I don't owe him a dime. I don't owe him a dime, Trisha. He's accusing me wrongly of. Trying to cheat him out of his money. Now listen, Trisha. He has threatened to kill me if I don't return $93,000 to him in 10 days. Then return the loot. Return the loot if the heat is too much for you. I don't have his money. I don't have his money. Liar. Tell that to the best, not me. <sighs> Mom, what makes you think Dad is in possession of Bonaventure's money? Because if he doesn't, he wouldn't ask us to run. It is because he does. If he doesn't, and Bonaventure thinks he does, what happens? Don't you think we should run away to save our heads some trouble? Or haven't you thought of the possibility of Bonaventure trying to assassinate Dad? Or does all this sound like a moonlight tale to you?
I should have chopped your work at the cross and from my garden, I'm about to let it I should have used your own to block my own. I say, oh. I should have chopped your work at the cross and from my garden, I'm about to let it I should have used your own to block my own. I say, yeah. She make you kill a brother, man, no try. To take another man, a wife, no thing. I've been a shepherd on the world, you my body, many fishes, and for ocean, no go pie for nothing. I know the hell for rubbing of shoulders. But the first effort you must see me bold That the vibe as the vibe the flow Everybody make it just to go Make we not stop the party Got to get your groove in No time for heartbreaking We got to not stop the party We got to get your groove in No time for heartbreaking You define my body Wait after the party Look for me again, make you find the goal. You define my body. When I start a party, you can look for me again. No, me at the floor, the go. I should have chopped your book at the boss and from my garden. I'm about to let me that. I should have used your own to block my own. I say, oh. I should have chopped your book at the boss and from my garden. I'm about to let me that. I should have used your own to block my own. I say, Said I'm not here for rubbing off shoulders so, If you step out you must see me hold up All my niggas better to use all your mind As I take a lot of wine Then I'll use all them head yeah. Now party time we do so Everybody make you catch your groove oh. Hey, all the chicka what they fight to oh. Take a music and go reach your tongue yeah. Hey, make you not stop the party Got to get your groove in No time for heartbreaking yeah. Yeah. We got to not stop the party Find my body when I start a party. You the look for me again, make you find the goal. You the find my body when I start a party. You the look for me again, no me at the floor the go. I should have chopped your book at the boss and from my garden. I'm about to let that. I should have used your own to block my own. I say, oh. I should have chopped your book at the boss and from my garden.